everybody this is tina welcome to my video today you guys i have my paper pumpkin box and i'm gonna show you um a few things first i'm doing something totally different with this kit um, than what I would normally do, but I was so excited to get this kit when I saw what it was, I about came out of my skin. So this is the kit and I wanted to show you how everything came first because it's gonna be so different when I'm done with it. So first, instead of an ink pad this month, you get a marker, which is amazing. This is a basic gray, right? No, it's basic black. And our markers have a fine tip and then it has a brush tip. And our brush tips, you can totally use to do stamping. You can put ink onto your stamp and then stamp it down just like you would an ink pad. But you can get, you can do multiple colors with ink uh, with these markers, which is what I like to do a lot of the time. So then instead of a normal flat stamp, you get this roller stamp, which I'm ecstatic about, I'm gonna use this so much. Um, I have several of these roller, like they're like dates, they can be date stamps. Um, this is a, uh, it's a phrase stamp. And then it also has some numbers on it. So that's gonna be fun to use, but I already know so many different uses I'm gonna get out of this. I know it's gonna be one of my favorite roller stamps. So then it comes with, the kit is like, it's not like, it is a scrapbooking or memory keeping type kit. So you're gonna get some washi tape and then you get two of these rings to put together your booklet, okay? So I have my stickers on the, on the top here. And then I have all of these pages and there's a bunch of different overlays you can see and then there's a bunch of different pages and I think I counted 18 of them you get more than 12 some are just solid the back is white and they have lines on them or the tops are decorated I love these. Then there's holes in them, so you can put the rings in there, and then you get this book that is supposed to be this review, this year in a review kind of book. I love this idea, you guys. Okay, so let me share with you what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing a year in, in review, but I'm gonna be doing it in a four by four album. So I'm gonna be cutting this up into four by four squares. That's why I wanted to show you guys first what it came with. You get some stickers, some number stickers. These are some foiled stickers, circles, arrows, hearts. Then you get the same in yellow. So it's gray and yellow. It's kind of hard to see those, but they're the same as the silver. Then you get these half circles, or you could put them together to make them full circles. Then you get some journaling blocks, and these are on stickers as well. I thought they were punch outs, but they're actually stickers. Okay, so the really cool thing is, I subscribe to another scrapbooking kit, a monthly kit, and this month, the topic is review. Year, a year in review, and then it has this acrylic word that says review, and then it has these uh, Project Life cards that kind of are like a review, and they're gray, and the colors for this kit that I got were gray and like a burgundy, so I pulled all the, the cards out that would work that are a light gray or a black. It came with this great little notepad, and it says here's the story, and it's three by four. It came with these little stickers. This is the other kit. This isn't the paper pumpkin kit. And then I also got this stamp set which says review. So I'm gonna add all of this stuff to this project, to my paper pumpkin project. I'm gonna combine both of these kits together and I'm gonna make a four by four year in review album. So I got a four by four album and then I got four by four page protectors and I'm gonna show you that next. Hey everybody, I am back to show you what I ended up doing with my paper pumpkin kit. I The footage you saw right before was just uh, me showing you the paper pumpkin kit and kind of explaining to you that I was going to do something different with it. So let me share with you guys what I did. The paper pumpkin kit this month was, has been my favorite. I love it. And immediately I knew that I wanted to do what I'm going to show you. So I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure I mentioned in my first video, I'm sorry you guys, I filmed it 
so long ago that I was going to use some of this product that I got in this other kit that I subscribed to. So you can see here that I've used some of it. I used the stamp set a ton and then I also pulled out my date it from Stampin' Up! My, this stamp and I used this for the months. So let me um, dive in and show you what I did. First, I ordered this album, this 4x4 album online and it's like a neon orange. It's not really yellow. I really dislike it in person. I'm not sure what I'm going to do if I'm just going to go ahead and just live with it or if I'm going to get a different album. I wanted a yellow 4x4 album and I just couldn't find anything in the description for this album online was yellow and it's like neon orange. So anyways, I have this year in review. It's a little, it's um like a little rubber piece and I wanted to put this on the front. So I haven't done that yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to commit to this album or if I will try to cover it or whatnot. So I'm just going to set that aside because that's how I want to use that. So then you open up the album and what I did is I just got um, some four by four page protectors from Becky Higgins. I got the regular page protectors and then I got the ones that were divided. Okay, so this was just a divided four by four uh, per page protector that I cut. I used my letter framelits to do an M for our last name, Martinez. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And then I'll just refer to what I used if it was the other kit. It's my story kit that I get or if it was the paper pumpkin kit. So I wanted to show you what I had left really quickly. This is what I have left from all of the um, pages from that story kit. Some of them, there's these two that are still in this size, but then you can see that I've cut a bunch down. And then I still have some that are cut in four by four that I didn't use. So this was a fantastic kit. I added a sheet of delightful Dijon to what I was working with so that I could have some yellow. And then I have three of the journaling cards left left. I have a ton of these left. Circles, hearts. I have quite a few of these left. I used all of the yellow circles, full circles, but I have a couple hearts left. Um, I have two of the half circles left, and then I have the two, the one, and the seven left. So I believe the way that these are designed is you have enough to do all the months, zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, all the way through nine. Then you have 10, 11, and 12, and then you could do 2016 or 2017. And then you will have two, one, and then if you do 2017, you'll have the six left over. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but I think that's how they were designed. So I have the M here, and then I have a uh, Avery index tab. You open this up. See, I did 2016 here. So if you ended and you used that 2017, you would have the six left. So then I have a heart here. Then it says re uh, life in review. I have a full photo here, one of the yellow stickers. This was a die I already had, and then a letter phrase sticker from my story kit, uh, kit that I got. So then it says zero 01 right here. We have a little yellow heart, a journaling box, and then I stamped January. I used some of those phrase stickers. Then we have February 02, and then I have a journal box. I stamped the good life from the roller stamp. This roller stamp is one that I will use a ton. I love using it for the Avery index tabs. So then I have four photos here and this I just, it's on each side. So it's on the outside of the page. This one's on the outside of the page protector. Then this one's on the inside. And so you can kind of see through there. So I have a silver heart and then it says heart this. Then I have March with an arrow here and then that some more phrase stickers. Over here I have April and then I have 04, a journaling uh, card, and then it's uh, I put some yellow paper behind it. I have one of the silver hearts right there. This is a full four by four photo, but then I chopped it so it could go um, here in the middle. I'm not thrilled with it because it kind of runs right through Andrew's face, but 
I just used leftover photos that I had. I had a stack of them from this last year. And this, I tried s uh, several different photos in here and it wasn't working. And so on this attempt, I was like, it's fine. I'm just going to go with it. So I cut another one of those page protectors here. I used that roller stamp here, said hi says highlights. Then over here it says the same thing, highlights. I journaled right on one of those. Then here it says bring on the happy and it's one of those overlays. Now I cut all of my supplies down before I got my page protectors and album. Had I not done that, what I would have done is just punched a hole and cut the overlay down so it didn't have to be in a page protector, but that's okay. So then I have May, here's zero 05. Again, I left that pocket clear. I love pockets that you can see through. I think it just gives it another element. May fit right in a heart right there. Flip it over. Here's reflection from the other stamp set, a ye little yellow heart, then a full photo with a phrase sticker. Over here is 06 for June. This is a Project Life card I cut down. That was from my other kit. Right here, some phrase stickers. A journaling card and a full photo. This is 07, and this is just floating around in this pocket. 07 on that side, then 08 on this side, and I'm just letting it float around. I don't know, maybe I'll close that up or add some confetti or some sequins. So it says the good life from that roller uh, stamp. Then I cut this page protector down. It was a full four by four. I sliced a little bit off the edge, used some of that paper, did a journaling card, a die cut and a heart, put an Avery index tab here, stamped August, used the washi tape that came in the kit to close off this pocket, did another photo here and a journaling card, and then I used the roller stamp. So I did August, August, and then I used the roller stamp and stamped love. You can see that I, I messed it up. I wanted it to go all the way across, but I just left it. Like, I'm not worried about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Another photo. This goes into September. I want to do some long journaling on here. So I have September 09. I have this heart and then this phrase sticker says hardest memory. This is the last time I saw my grandma uh, before she passed away. And it was the last time that I saw my grandparents together like this. Um, in this realm, she's reading on her Kindle and he is reading um, a book. And I really love this photo. It's a really precious photo. Probably one of my favorite favorite photos of the last time I saw my grandma. So I just used some pictures from their trip. I have a whole Project Life spread in my album for our family album with pictures from their trip, but these were left over. So this is my grandma and actually my mom's there in the background and I don't know what we were doing. We were just kind of sitting and visiting and um, so I have that. It says remember and then there's a yellow sticker here. It's right on the photo turn it. There's a yellow sticker here with a phrase over it. I have October stamped all the way around. Again, this is just floating in here. I kind of like doing that. Flip that here. Here's from the other stamp set. I did some journaling right here and then this was on the outside of the page protector. Had it been on the actual paper, I probably would have journaled more around it. Um, but when I was journaling, I was just trying to keep in mind that there was something there. So then I have another overlay there. I have a full photo here with an arrow. And then this is December 12. I have a journaling box there. These three hearts, again, a cut up page protector with an Avery index tab, a half circle with a phrase there, and then a photo. Flipped this over. This is a circle uh, sticker with a heart sticker. Then the overlay again and a page protector. And then this is the Christmas tree for December. And then I ended the album like this with some phrase stickers. You can see they're not, like this is crooked. Um, I just had so much fun putting this together. I sat on Saturday in a cozy, in my cozy pajamas and under a blanket in front of the fireplace, um, watching, just hanging out in the living room. I did all my stamping just on a little table. So the stamping's not perfect. The journaling is not perfect, but I love the way this came out. And it is my favorite paper pumpkin kit that we've ever had. So if you just put it together exactly how the paper pumpkin does it, how they intended it, you just get these little circles, to, you know, to put through the holes. And then the idea is that you kind of do the same thing. I kind of followed a little bit of their idea of just 
um, doing like a year in the re in review. You could also take and cut it right here and then just do one hoop and then use a larger hoop and add some ribbon to that. I think that would be really pretty. And then I've seen some really fantastic cards, greeting cards made from it. So Paper Pumpkin, if you're not familiar with what Paper Pumpkin is, it is a monthly subscription kit that you get. You get a stamp set and an ink pad always. This month we got the roller stamp and a marker, which I loved. And then you get um, enough stuff to put together whatever the project is. And it's $20 a month and that includes shipping. So there's lots of options to get it monthly, to subscribe to it, or you can get prepaid. I have lots of customers that get it prepaid for three to six months. You can get it up to a year. Um, I love it. And then I also, I have an exclusive Facebook group where I share other ideas on how to use this um, kit. We interact. I just was on there. I did a live video when I finished up my album um, to share with them. So if you're interested in joining, I would love for you to join with me. The link to join to subscribe to the kit is down below in the YouTube description. You can check there or you can click on my coordinating blog post and you can go over to my blog and you'll see a way to do the three month or six month or you can even just prepay to do one month and try it out. You have to subscribe by the 10th of the month in order to get the current kit. So anyways, you guys, um, there'll be photos on my website. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. I really love the way it came out, this little mini album. I think it's really, really super cute, and it'll be something that I leave out um, on, you know, in my living room, and the kids will flip through it. They'll love it. So thank you guys for joining me today, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Don't forget that Celebrations is starting, and the new Occasions catalog is coming this week. So that's super exciting, and I'll be back to share with you guys. Have a great day, you guys, and I'll talk to you later.